Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the second match between Locosito and Doodle. Upper right hand corner, we have Locosito starting as the blue Terran. Bottom right hand corner, we have Doodle starting as the red Protoss. This is on Butter. So a heads up one versus one map that I believe has interesting play between Terran and Protoss. It looks like we see a very early play from Doodle. I think he's going to go for that proxy gateway style that has been very, very popular. And it, it's been so popular, I've been shocked I haven't seen it as much on Butter thus far. But oftentimes Protoss will go one gateway, basically to just put on some initial pressure. We'll see if it's a double date gateway dedication here from Doodle. This might backfire for Doodle because I do feel like Doodle has, or the, I feel like Locosito has shown some fairly strong early game micromanagement skills. Initial pylon down very deep into Locosito's territory. Hanging out with the natural expansion, we'll see how long it takes him to go ahead and scout this. He's building a supply depot thus far interior to his base. And this is going to, yeah, this is gonna be a very rapid gateway. So a huge test of Locosito's early game micro capabilities, Doodle dropping the gateway. And I do believe that the lag is somewhat low between these two. I think Locosito is, uh, I think he might be, um, South American, Central American player versus North American player here in Doodle. Barracks being constructed. Looking for the gas steel potentially. Probe along that edge. Barracks. The gas steel oftentimes accompanies this to force away factory tech, but Doodle allowing Locosi to go ahead and grab that initial factory. Gateway just about finished. We'll start producing those zelts and flooding them into the base. So now, yeah, it's just going, ooh, and a proxy pylon as well. Doodle is full dedicating to this. This is going to be nothing but nonstop zealot into the front because this is a huge investment in resources into his opponent's base. As soon as Locosito scouts this, he should immediately drop a bunker, especially considering he's got that pylon dropped here. Once that barracks is completed, that would be the safe. I like that he's using that aggressive SCV. Second, a shield battery dropped into Locosito's base. So going to be a further taxation. There's the bunker being constructed by Locosito and the initial Marine on the way. First sell it, ignoring that SCV. The probe actually going to cycle out does have an SCV trailing going after that initially. Plenty of gas for Locosito. This is going to delay the factory a bit. Probe trying to get in and do some damage. Zealot recharging what shield damage it's taken. That bunker has established. The probe is gone and a nice concave blockade so it's going to be up to the shield battery to keep this zealot alive done a, a little bit of damage but locosito looks like oh never mind the zealot lives but honestly much further than i thought it would now working on that shield battery second marine has not been constructed no factory as of yet either that pylon looks like it's going to drop in the main and that pylon gone at the natural expansion as well so now we have an unpowered gateway so with that factory being built along that edge doodle being shoved out so it looks like this gambit has in fact failed unpowered shield battery a massive loss of resources to start is going to have to retreat with that zealot it's going to be a quick one double gateway being built as a recovery mechanism for doodle in the main however it is locosito's game to lose at this stage although looking at the overall worker count somehow locosito has fallen far behind doodle in the overall macro play. Go figure, SCV wandering in is going to scout some very tightly built tech around that Nexus. Regardless, there's gonna be a massive, massive lead in tech in the form of that factory for Locosito. He's gonna to need to reposition it to get additional units out there, but that probe lead's actually pretty significant. Granted, this is a gone a dead shield battery, so what was the total losses here? We got a gateway at 150, 250, 350, and then the shield battery on top of it. That's a lot of resources to have just, just go down the drain. Locosito, what, lost two SCVs? Although he lost, obviously, more SCVs in between. It could be that he was pausing SCV construction because maybe he's thinking about going for some sort of follow-up. Doodle producing some Dragoons with that Zealot initially. And I'm wondering if he's going to just try to go straight into expansion or if he's going to go for an aggressive play after this. He doesn't have that range spinning as of yet. The other problem for him, though, is Locosito already has a Vulture interior to his base. It looks like a Zealot. Somehow, wondering where that Zealot came from, got two kills in between, taking a lot of damage. The Zealot's actually blockading 
to create some time for those Dragoons to go out. So further losses for from Doodle to start. The SCV going to go ahead and try to make its way out. Being a little bit contested here. Actually being very contested. So the SCV going to lose its life. And the Vulture not able to get initial kills, but able to make it through into the main just to explode on those Dragoons. And it looks like, yeah, Doodle just skipping everything else pausing construction altogether to get a nexus to follow it up and this is going to construct much more rapidly than Locosito's nexus as far as the follow-up so let's see if Locosito is able to exploit that much more rapid factory to his advantage from here on out but honestly as far as the turnaround I'm a bit shocked to say that Doodle is exiting this with a massive worker lead and an earlier natural expansion which I gotta say yeah I'm totally flabbergasted ranged now cycling now granted usually you have the one gateway to stymie your opponents but doodle committed heavy to that and yet continue to build probes the entire time mines now researched as well as vulture uh another vultures out on the field we got siege tech also upgrading so let's see if this vulture is able to speed out drop some mines to at least prevent this is the thing i want to say prevent some additional encroachment but it's really doodle that stereotypically in this position should have been worried about locosito pushing into him where locosito still hasn't planted that natural expansion again because of the neglected scv count and he had a i guess in a lot of the battles so he's going for a starport with a control tower to follow this up he's going to go ahead and go for a vulture drop right so going for the sneaky vulture drop acting like he's going for the natural expansion with everything he's got set in front but instead wants to... I don't like this play, though, because usually when you're going some sort of vulture drop or thing, something along those lines, you're, you need that to pay off in worker detriment. And because he's opting to do this, this is further slowing down that natural expansion. And he already saw the two gates, so he knew there's going to be additional troops that were somewhere out there. And he didn't follow it up with two or three factories to really force Doodle to play more unit light. Looks like that bunker in the main going ahead and being deconstructed in the manner of flames and fire. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be a siege tank scoop up with two vultures and Doodle already moving out to maybe get some position on a third. Actually already has a probe making its way that direction to just play an extremely aggressive macro game might see this dropship as it's making its way across although i don't know who's getting the better bit of information here loco cito seeing that third or doodle seeing the drop in coming he's gonna have to it looks like he did not see it so he needs to migrate those units back to the main the vultures drop with those siege tanks see how solid doodle's defense is doodle's actually exiting very rapidly with all those probes only losing a minimal amount there the, but the mine's in the way getting a huge hit in all those dragoons which softens them up and they're just walking straight through it looks like they're trying to get a mine drag do manage to get one mine drag it looked like into the siege tanks but mostly mitigated losses by just pulling the probes another vulture going to pressure at the front and now doodle basically out of troops to defend this although he does have that third nexus still constructing that vulture going to be wiped out let's see if locosito can get some damage out of this right now he's just assaulting the pylon i would actually go for that observatory might be a better piece of tech but the shuttle scooting out as well which is the exact piece of the puzzle doodle potentially needs to scoot around and go for a drop up with these zealots on top of the vultures distract that siege tank allow the dragoons to get in close proximity now he's focusing on that observatory which all there's only one mine remaining however the dragoons going to be able to clean up with that zealot looks like there's a pylon wall blockading the marines it looks like a shield battery alongside going to try to take out that third base but that shuttle very rapidly able to move some defensive troops back to the front so might lose a pylon here, but still going to hold the Nexus. This has paused some some uh, additional unit production. But Locosito not able to break through there. So now we've got a third coming up. Two siege tanks and two marines. That still could have been a threat, potentially, with some follow-up. The dropship making its way back across. Maybe Locosito can press at some forward location. An observer waiting to see re reinforcements coming across. Locosito has established his second base in the meantime but he's still a sizable worker count and supply count behind doodle doodle does need to fill in that gateway count so he can utilize 
The three base economy, however, he's still sitting at that two gateway, which is not going to keep up with Locosito's three factories for sure. Fourth factory also being constructed. Vulture's looking to position the observer right there. I think did that the observatory? No, the observatory stands, not by much. And a gateway blockade on the front. Clever thinking at the last second there for Doodle to keep his front defended against those vultures. And we still have this pile on it. Still has about 100 health left on it with that shield battery blockading that third. So with this, Doodle taking, I'm shocked to say, a lead economically. Although Doodle's not out of the woods yet because we've got more dropship play and siege tanks now. And I wish I had seen this earlier out of Locosito to really pressure Doodle a bit. Now a Reaver out for Doodle, which will definitely help with this defense considering how spread it is that siege tank not quite in range. Of the four defenses, the Reaver not dropping on the Vultures at mine position. Two Marines to create some havoc right there. The Observer not seeing it. Looks like the Dragoon's going to stage their way up. That was Danger Town. But Locosito wanting to slow press the Siege Tank, getting a good punch on that forward Siege Tank. A huge splash damage hit from the Scarab, able to completely wipe out all of those troops that were huddled in a group that is not what you how you want to play versus protoss need to be spread out and so loco cito's forward attack getting mauled he has managed to break through at the main with some vultures while those troops were distracted got some mines down as well it looks like those dragoons some nice defense though from doodle he's been a little bit negligent and well as i say that i see some more probes being constructed but he paused some worker production but Locosito's army is now looking thin. He's ahead in the worker count. Looks like some more vultures gonna lay some mines between the natural expansion to try to again pressure Doodle. Doodle moving those dragoons up to create some counter pressure to maybe either cut off reinforcements or create some havoc otherwise. Locosito making no movements to grab a third. He does have the four factories. It looks like a second machine shop being added, another barracks being built. The first one die in flames. It must have a wraith also being constructed to try to deal with that speed shuttle as it's making its way to maybe do some disruption either at the main or the natural expansion. Able to sneak past that turret, but the Wraith is in fact there, so it needs to unload rapidly, getting a few shots, but not before the Reaver lands and explodes. A massive hit on the SCV line. It looks like there, fortunately, there's just a series of duds to follow. So the Reaver being wiped out, the Dragoons eating some mines as they're trying to return to home base. There's also a sizable minefield to engage the goons as they're coming across. Actually, Doodle running into Locosito's problem where his army's a little bit too bunched and doesn't have detection. The observer making its way back across, fortunately for him and regathering, but Locosito able to even the worker count lead, still doesn't have his third up. That third pretty, uh, actually tacking on that third gas. Doodle has managed to increase the amount of gateways. He's got another shuttle making its way out. I think that Wraith is still active someplace. I assume we're not gonna see any sort of cloaking. Mines being cleared out, and in a crazy open, are things maybe stabilizing here? Locosito not in the worst position. He's got the four factories, but he does want to start thinking about grabbing that third to maintain. Usually you want that edge one base. Uh, Terran wants to be one base ahead. A probe wandering out towards this uh, six o'clock location to maybe grab a fourth, but vultures are already there to deny that base. A second phalanx i'll call it of dragoons making their way that direction to go ahead and wipe out the vultures there's no mines in their complement so they can't deny it there's also a dropship that was kind of waiting latently there really wasn't utilized by locosito otherwise Doodle again with the worker count starting to press forward testing that front a massive amount of siege tanks going to go ahead and push that back although this is much smaller siege tank count than you would expect at the 13 14 minute mark showing how much disruption there's been and it shows you how that uh, dropship player can really cut into mid-game siege tank counts comparatively dragoons losing their lives it's gateway man from here it looks like from doodle it's got eight gateways up already Templar archives just now being planted plus one weapons i believe that's plus one weapons on the way yeah no upgrades out as of yet plus one weapons being worked on for locosito as well he's down 40 supply I don't think he has a timing here, but he's gonna try to push out anyway as that plus one weapons is hitting. I think this is more to try to establish, maybe to go establish that third, but Locosito has been aggressive in the past. So I wouldn't be shocked as he's dropping this third machine shop if he goes for more plus one weapons push on the front. Although this looks more like a defensive ground 
force to go ahead and establish some position on that high ground third tor towards his opponent. It looks like it's going to be more of a shuttle defense style of play for Doodle. I shouldn't say defense. Shuttle aggressive play. So it's the shuttle play rather than the mid game, late game arbiter style of play from Doodle. We have seen that shift in the middle. I haven't seen it utilized by a ton of people as of yet. More units starting to flood out towards the front, going to try to engage. The Zealot's actually able to get on top of those Ford Siege tanks with that turret not in place, able to take out one of the shuttles, but the second shuttle able to drop its full complement. And now Locosito's front getting repelled, pushed back with that plus one weapons in place now for both players. So not able to establish a forward bulkhead to make his way out and hold the third. It looks like that shuttle also going to get a reprieve as that Wraith not really pushing in position to wipe it out. Fourth base now online, which is going to give a sizable economic lead to Doodle. He's got a massive gateway foundation to just keep pouring those troops out. He's got Psy Storm just about completing and some High Templar now taking the field as well. Double Forge, which will give him an upgrade lead over time. Locosito just now trying to again push his way out is going to be resource starved in a minute or two because his main is going to be nearly mined out at that stage. And Doodle's done quite a bit, honestly, with maybe a control group and some shuttles of Dragoons and not a lot else. Huge supply lead surge. The dropship can spot th those probes on that fourth. Yeah, and Locosito just now moving an SCV into the position on the high ground to kind of limp his way out and grab that base. A Dragoon being, a weakened Dragoon being slotted to go ahead and deny that 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock location approximately. And so now Locosito has eight factories, but really not a strong enough economy in short order to maintain it. And Doodle continuing to macro up in a really good position. 40 supply lead is not going to be that far off. 200 supply very shortly. I, fortunately, there's at least no Arbiter tech behind this that I'm seeing. But the usual Terran upgrade advantage I don't think is going to be there because Doodle does have that double forge and has been pressing it. The Observer pulling its way out. The Zealots pushing their way in. And where Locosito had established the forward front didn't really close the gap, forcing himself into Doodle's army. The Zealots again mixed in with the forward siege tanks and coming down off the high ground. The Vultures fortunately pushing into position, which is making that a much more favorable trade this time. The Dragoons getting annihilated over that bridge wall. But this is with a lot of army that wasn't participating in that battle. And it looks like this time Locosito a, not bothering with that third. I don't see a command center constructing behind this nor on the low ground. And is just diving straight at Doodle and wants to end the game with what he was hoping would be an upgrade advantage. But honestly, plus two weapons, plus one armor is going to be there. And he's walking into a wall of Psy Storm. So going to end up losing this army and calling GG right there. Doodle takes it. And unfortunately, with the chaos and Doodle pulling it out with an incredible... There, you see it right there in the chat. It, it's okay, take win. Loco Cito seeding the series, and Doodle advances to the finals. Which I had a special note of ahead of time. So hope you guys enjoyed it. An insane game. Give a like and subscribe. Share with a friend. And we are moving on to the BSL Season 16 Hasu League Finals. Appreciate your viewership. Thank you for listening.